just ran to the thrift store real quick. We have a Goodwill right around the corner and we stopped in really quickly. Um, so I wanted to share with you what we were able to find today while we were there. This upcoming school year, I do plan to do a little bit more as far as poetry tea time. And I'm actually planning on doing that on our very first day of school. I did stop in because there were specific things that I was looking for as far as things for that tea time. I was looking for a poetry book. I was looking for a serving tray. And there was one other thing I was looking for that I didn't find and that was an easel. That wasn't really unnecessary. That was actually for co-op. That wasn't for our poetry tea time. Um, and I also found a few other things while we were there. So I just wanted to go ahead and share with you what we found today at Goodwill. Some of the goodies we found while we were there was this giant clothespin that is supposed to hold, I think it's supposed to hold papers and then you just set it on your desk like that and it holds papers and I thought it was super cute and it was $1.99 and so that came home with us. I'll find a spot for that. And then as far as the serving trays go, I found two different ones and they really don't go together whatsoever. So I'm thinking we'll have different themes probably for our tea times. This one will be maybe a little bit of a fancier tea time. I just thought it was super pretty. With this little rose detail and the white, it's just really pretty. And I feel like this would match perfectly any type of teacup design and it just looks so pretty. I could just envision some little scones and cookies on there. So I grabbed that one. And I also found this other serving tray, which is more of like a, more of a modern design, I guess you could say. But it was really pretty with these gold handles. And again, I could see a pretty candle and some little white lace in the middle there. So I found two trays for two different occasions. And as far as mugs, we went to the mug aisle on our way out and I told the kids each to pick out a mug. I probably should have been a little more specific as far as what type of mug. However, we'll just do an abstract tea time at different times. So <laughs> the mugs we came home with were not necessarily teacups, um, but they'll still work, especially if we do like an abstract, unthemed kind of tea time. Um, Zoe had the right idea, and the one she picked was actually what I had in mind when I asked them each to pick out a teacup that they wanted um, for themselves. So Zoe picked this one. Super cute, very pretty, and an actual teacup. Oh, I just realized that actually looks really pretty in there. Wait, matches almost, perfect. Um, Eden picked this one. <laughs> Still cute. Easton picked this one. It's just orange, it's his favorite color. This one still ended up coming home with us. Eden actually initially picked this one, but it ended up staying in our cart anyway because I couldn't really put it back on the shelf. So that one came home with us too. And again, it meant a lot to them to pick out ones that they wanted to so we're just gonna roll with it and we'll just do different tea times or hot chocolate or we'll see how it goes so a couple other things I found which this was just a home decor item that really has nothing to do with school but I thought it was super pretty it's almost like it's like a terracotta almost and you can put something in this little pocket but it, well, I'm pretty sure it's handmade but I'll have to find a pretty spot for that and then stick some little decor in there. But it has a little hanger and you hang it on the wall, but it would look nice out here in the sunroom. So we'll find a spot for that. And I grabbed a couple books. Like I said, I was looking for a poetry book and I did accomplish that. This was actually one that I was looking at this morning that I almost ordered, but I'm glad I waited because I was able to find it there. A Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. I've heard this is a good one, so let me know. Did I make a good choice there? Is it a good one? It looks beautiful. The pictures and it, it's just really pretty. 
So I grabbed that one. And then, but right beside it or nearby it, I found this cute little book, A Harry the Dirty Dog Treasury. So it's not really poems, but they're just cute little stories that I thought that girls would probably enjoy. So this one came home with us. And I found two others. I found an I Survived book. This is I Survived the San Francisco Earthquake and the Great Gilly Hopkins, which we don't have this one on our shelf, but I've heard really good things about this one. So I went ahead and grabbed that one because it was there on the shelf as well. And then the last two things that caught my eye on the way out were these little puzzle boxes. These are little word puzzles. And I thought these would be perfect for Eden in our morning time or if she just needs a little activity to do i might unbox it and put it in little like pencil pencil cases or things i love little things like this that come all together that i can just have accessible for her that if she's sitting with us but i still um need her to be quiet but she still needs something to do i love things like this for that reason so I went ahead and grabbed them. They were $1.99 each. Uh, I probably didn't need both of them, but they're two different themes. So just went ahead and grabbed them. So yeah, that's what we found at the thrift store today. So thank you for being here if you watched to the end. And let me know if you guys do poetry tea time, if you don't do poetry tea time. We've never done it before. We love tea. We love having tea parties and things like that. So. I just figured we'll go ahead and infuse it in our school year to some degree and the girls can help me get it all set up and bake the little treats and assemble everything and that will be something that they will absolutely look forward to. So I'm excited to try it and see how it goes. Nothing crazy. We're not going to go overboard with it, but it's just always kind of been something that has interested me. So we're going to give it a try and see how it goes. So let me know if you guys put that into practice in your homeschool and how it has gone for you. And if you have another book of poems that are that is your favorite, please let me know because I'm always looking for good recommendations. I don't want to go and buy them all, so let me know some of your favorites so I know which ones are worth putting the money into. Thank you all for being here, and we will talk very, very soon.